Mustafa Badreddin was Hezbollah's biggest loss in the Syria war to date. Since his death, the armed group has been releasing new images of a man who had long been a shadowy figure. He was the latest of a number of prominent figures from Hezbollah to be killed, but unlike the past, the Lebanese group didn't blame its traditional enemy, Israel. Instead, it blamed what it calls takfiris, which is considered a derogatory term used when referring to Sunni armed groups. This accusation is going to worsen the Sunni-Shia conflict in the region. Hezbollah blamed what it's called terrorist or opposition groups, but these groups are backed by regional powers, who are Sunni powers. What Hezbollah is saying, this battle is existential. Badreddin was buried with scenes of defiance in Hezbollah's heartland in the southern suburbs of Beirut. The group says his death will only strengthen its resolve and will continue the fight against what it calls criminal gangs. But Hezbollah has been sustaining losses in Syria. It is believed at least 1,200 of its fighters have been killed there. It is not only military losses. Hezbollah has lost popularity. It earned itself many enemies when it decided to militarily intervene in Syria to help President Bashar al-Assad stay in power. Those who oppose the group see it as a Shia sectarian force fighting Sunnis. Its supporters no longer just chant death to Israel, death to America. They are also chanting death to the al-Saud family, the leaders of Saudi Arabia. Hezbollah, an ally of Iran, was recently listed as a terrorist organization by the Saudi government. Syria is just one of the battlegrounds where a regional power struggle between the Saudis and Iranians is being played out. Badreddin's death shows the extent of Hezbollah's commitment in Syria. And now that it's blaming Sunni groups, it says are backed by Saudi Arabia for his killing. The armed group is likely to step up its role across the border. Zana Khudr Al-Jazeera, Beirut.